There is an old saying, where there is a will, there is a way. If you really want something and work hard for it, you will get it. Read this story to see how a woman gets what she wants by being kind and helpful. Section 1 Once upon a time, there was an old woman who wanted to eat an apple pie for supper. She had plenty of flour and butter and plenty of sugar and spice. But she did not have any apples. She had a tree full of plums and roundest and reddest that you can imagine. But no one can make an apple pie with plum. The more the old woman thought of the pie, the more she wanted to have it. So she dressed in her finest clothes and went out to seek some apples. On her arm, she had a basket of plums from her plum tree. She thought, There may be someone who has apples but needs plums. Soon the old woman came to a poultry farm filled with fine hens and geese. A young woman stood in their midst feeding them yellow corn. She nodded to the old woman and the old woman nodded back. And soon the two were talking. The young woman told the old woman about her hens and the old woman told the young woman about the apple pie and the basket of plums for which she hoped to get apples. Dear me, said the young woman when she heard this. My husband loves plum jam. I can offer you a bag of feathers for your plums. The old woman emptied the plums into the young woman's apron and putting the bag of feathers into her basket, trugged as before. She said to herself, I haven't got my apples, but at last feathers are lighter to carry than plums. Up the hill and down she went until she came to a farmhouse. The most delicious smells came wafting out the kitchen window. The old woman stopped at the gate to smell the fresh bread and cakes. As she stood there, she heard a man and woman quarrelling. Cotton, said the woman. Straw, said the man. Then they saw the old woman at the gate. Here is the person who will settle the matter, said the woman. She called out to the old woman. Good mother, answer my question. If you were making a cushion for your grandfather's chair, would you not stuff it with cotton? No, said the old woman. I told you so, cried the men. Straw is the thing. However, the old woman shook her head. I would not stuff the cushion with straw either, she said. Then the old woman took the bag of feathers out of her basket and gave it to them. A feather cushion is fit for a king, she said. And as for me, an apple for a pie, or maybe some of that nice bread from your kitchen. The men and women had no apples, but they gladly gave her two loaves of breads from their kitchen for her bag of feathers. Section 2 a good bargain, thought the old woman as she walked on. She had just got to a turn in the road when she saw a mother with her children standing in a doorway. Their faces were as sad as her own was happy. What is the matter? She asked them. The mother answered, We do not have money to buy food. What a pity! cried the kind old woman when she heard this. Never shall it be said of me that I eat apple pie for supper, while my neighbours haven't got even bread to eat. She put the loaves into the mother's hand and hurried on without waiting for thanks. Soon the mother and children overtook her, laughing happily and merrily. We have little to give you said the mother. Thank you for the bread. Please take this 
little dog with you it will keep you happy the old woman did not have the heart to say no so into the basket went the little dog a bag of feathers for a basket of plums two loaves of bread for a bag of feathers a dog for two loaves of bread all the world is give and take i may still have my apple pie said the old woman hopefully as she hurried on and sure enough she had not gone half a dozen yards when she saw an apple tree as full of apples as her plum tree was full of plums it grew in front of a house on a porch of the house sat little old man a fine tree of apples called the old woman a eh, but apples are poor company when a man is growing old said the old woman i would give them all away if i had a little dog bo wo called the dog in the old woman's basket then in less time then it takes to read this story he was barking on the old woman's doorstep the old woman was on her way home with a basket of apples on her arm for supper that night she ate the apple pie to the very last crumb and how she enjoyed it